Okay, so major day. Uh, yeah, we we are getting into that area where we're going to start seeing a lot of major trailers drop. Now, I'm very surprised this one didn't drop for Summer Games Fest, but lo and behold, maybe we'll have something of a gameplay trailer for Summer Games Fest. I to not have Elden Ring at Summer Games Fest when it comes out, I'm pretty sure after Summer Games Fest happens. Kind of weird. Um, maybe there'll be a demo or something. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of a weird one. But we have the new story trailer for Shadow of the Erd Tree just dropped. So let's check it out. It is three minutes long. There is so much lore, so much storyline being thrown into this. I can't wait to check this out and see what what's what we got going on. I'm hoping for um, the Shattering War. I'm hoping for the Shell Realm. I'm hoping for like the hints at who America is. Let's hear her talk. Let's see what her character is. Let's see Mikola. Let's see this like uh, fiery dude or whatever that is going to be the main boss fights, all that stuff. So. Uh, I haven't done too much in the way of like lore exploring for Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree, just because I want it to be fresh, go into it completely unspoiled, and you know start guessing along the way of what's going on, all the plot twists and everything else. I know you can probably figure out the lore in two seconds, um, but yeah, I'm going to do it this way. So let's jump into this. Let's do this. From Zob to Bandai Namco. Ooh. Mikula the Kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. An affair from which gold arose. America. And so too was Shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. Shattering War. It's the fucking Shattering War, let's go. One that could never be put to song. Shattering War. Mikola was Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, really quick. Mikola was like a general in the Shattering War. That's so. I'm pretty sure that's new lore that we didn't know before. So this is the stuff that R.R. Uh, R. Martin was writing all about, of like trying to build up the universe and the background and the history and the. But let's keep going. The tyranny of Mesmer's flame. No, you will not eat me. This is my fire. <laughs> exactly what I was asking for. And so too is born the Erd Tree. There's another rune in there, it looks like, possibly. And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. Yep. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. Even his faith. The music is too loud. Okay, hold on, hold on. The music is way too loud to be able to hear what's what's going on. Let's turn on the closed captions. We follow. And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. 
this is America. And I think America, well, hmm. So it, so I think the lore is that America gave birth to Mikola. I think this is America and they're, they're doing the, you know, the, they're telling you, they're telling you about one character, but they're showing you here's how Mikola came into being. I don't think, so the whole thing of like Mikola being a woman and then transitions into the kid or whatever, all that lore, I don't think that is because that was cut content, I do believe. Because there's so much, there's so much lore being thrown around between cut content and what is actually, you know, stuck in the storyline. I'm pretty sure the Mikola stuff was cut content, which cut content is not canon. It is not actual lore that is in what they went with for the actual storyline. So you got, you have to split those two. It's cool seeing the cut content of like what they were thinking of going with, but. You have to stick with what they actually went with. This is the actual story that they actually told. This is the canon. That's the reason why it is canon lore. Um, I still think this is America. Again, we won't know until we actually sit down to run through the DLC. So is this DLC going to be... Could we see like a memory in a DLC of like chapter one is going through a bit of the... Like you see... What would be awesome with this, and again, I'm going to keep, you know, do the last minute of this. Uh, what would be awesome gameplay wise with this is you, the, the opening to Shadow of the Erd Tree is you play through a memory of somebody running through the castle and you're seeing the Shattering War happening outside. So you see like a big old army. You don't run through the, the army fields and everything, but you see the army coming into the castle. You feel the castle shaking and all that stuff. And like, you just have like you you punch through a memory of like okay maybe you know the for if they could say that the tarnish the first tarnish was there at the shattering war in in the castle walls or something they could do something like that almost like assassin's creed in in that sense of like okay you know the assassin is you know hunkering in the shadows as the tarnish is hunkering in the shadows of the Erd tree even his fate He gave up his fate, which is, and everybody follows America. This is, you know, this is America's like whole, hmm. Uh, it looks like I, that's not the wolf. Oops. That's not the wolf armor. I th think these might be pre predecessors to the people that we talked to. Cause this is probably a hundred years before I would think, wait, wolf armor, maybe. Hmm. Are we going to, I, I'm wondering if these are new characters or if this feels like a time jump to me. Okay. Let's watch the actual last minute of this. Oh, okay. This DLC is going to be giant. It is going to be huge. Not only is it a full-on brand new map to explore and everything, but it's a, so him giving up his flesh just means I think he just turned undead. So so he could actually kind of like power up and become basically a tarnished in a sense. Um. Yeah. Wow. There is so much to unpack in this. Um. Again, like. This is a hundred percent. So this, the seduction and the betrayal, which is Radagon going from um uh the what's her name R Renala? I do believe her name is Renala. It's been like a year since I've actually deep dived the lore of Elden Ring, but I've been getting it little bit by little bit by little bit, uh, from Vadi, from his videos. Haha. <laughs> um. This is a hundred percent. Body's probably gonna say that this is Mikula, and I don't. I don't agree with that. I think this is Merica. Um, I think this is her. Maybe so. 
what this is really showing to me, like, I think she sacrificed herself because, again, in my book, Merica and Ragon is two different people. They they were when 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 I, I think Ragon went into went into the Erd Tree with Merica, and then they got stuck there, which either they turned into the Elden Beast or the Elden Beast was unleashed from the Elden Ring. Uh, itself which i think that's more or less probably what because the elden beast comes out of the elden ring when when you are in there fighting and everything i've never like that's that's the one thing i don't see anybody really explaining is the elden beast and that's because i think everybody has it wrong that america was radagon always and you know i don't think that is true um there is there's also lore dumps in the game that you can just come across and yes, I know Vadi has gone through everything and everybody's taken his word as gospel, even though there is a lot of opinions in, in his videos, um, which again, a hundred percent, you know, make, make videos, do your, do your opinion on it and everything. We are all just doing opinion pieces at the end. I am doing an opinion piece right now. Also, um, I just got an email, the, the from software email, uh, the seduction and the betrayal. So that is Radagon, you know, going from one wife to the other. Uh, America's golden order was birthed from shadow. So will you follow? That is America's calling there. Mesmer's flame purged the lands, which means that turned everything into what we see it now. Uh, Mikola would abandon grace in pursuit of something greater. Will you walk with him? So he's going to invite the Tarnish to be, become one with the with the Shadow Realm, possibly. Hmm. Um, my opinion is I don't fully I, for the most part, I agree with what Vadi's saying, but it's just that whole that whole. I mean, it's a big plot point of whether or not they were the same person or if they were two different people. I think they're two different people. I think that they were working together. They were banging like bunnies. They had a you know a few kids and. This is before all of the, um, this, so, yeah, and so too was Shadow born. I think in the whole process of sharing the, the Elden Ring, sorry, yes, you shall, the, they, they shattered the Elden Ring and the, the, the pieces of the Elden Ring, including the Death Rune, is what got stolen. That's right, okay. It's, I'm having the flashback of the uh, Elden Elden Ring's opening was a long time ago now. Um, so I think the Shadow Realm was also born out of that possibly. And I think Merica, I think what, what we're going to end up seeing is that Mikola probably sacrificed himself, which is meaning he shed his golden skin and all of that because he was a god. He shed that to go into the Shadow Realm to stay with Merica. And I think Merica, she ended up escaping to the Shadow Realm because of all the, I think this is going to be, this is probably like the gateway to the shadow realm or it's her making. Um, because look at all the dead bodies and shit that's, ha that's here. Uh, so too was the shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. No. Okay. So she made the shadow realm broke the Elden Ring, stole the Death Rune, and brought it into the Shadow Realm with her. And then what you're seeing is her dead body that they have posted up inside the Erd Tree. And that's the reason why when... Um, um, oh, was it the... Uh... Oh, man... Names. I suck at names. I'm trying to remember names from like a year ago. The last time. This is the reason why I really. I'm going to do a full playthrough of Elden Ring before Shadow of the Earth Tree comes out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream it or anything, but yes. Um, yeah. yeah it's, anyways, there is so much lore in this. There is so much going on with this. It is awesome to see. Like we're seeing the, the shattering, uh, the the shattering war. We're seeing all this stuff because there was a giant war that happened. Um, when America was getting ready to try and steal the, the, the death rune tyranny as Mesmer's flame. So we have not really seen Mesmer also. This is really the first time, uh, I think that was Mikola in the first trailer that we were actually seeing. Everybody was saying that that was Mesmer or maybe it was, maybe it is Mesmer. I don't know. 
that's gonna be so no 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 okay so this was yeah this was the phase that we've seen in the first trailer so it was mesmer that's right again there's a lot of lore there is a lot of videos on this there is a lot of different opinions there's a lot of different takes on what the lore actually is because FromSoft does an amazing job at not spoiling stuff at not giving stuff away and not leaking anything for the most part um yeah like they it's, it's, uh, that's the reason why i think elden ring and dark souls and bloodborne and all that it holds up so well because there is still so much mystery around like what the hell everything means in the in these series um which is the reason why i keep saying mystery and gaming needs to be needs to remain we need to stop leaking everything because now we have this whole like what is going on we need to play the game we need to jump in we need to see the lore and everything it makes it so much more fun with this um See, Mikola would abandon everything. So when Merica probably escaped to, I think what the shell realm is going to be is like the spirit and the soul of the characters that were that possibly we've already faced also. So what we could be doing is because, you know, nobody really actually dies in here. So all the boss fights that we just did, like Radon and, you know, Melania and all that, we could be, we could be just sending them to the shell realm. And then that is the prison of the you know the evil spirits or whatever and because if you notice the one person which is the first wife of Radagon she doesn't die she helps you out she becomes an ally hmm um uh what is it uh is it Renal oh no uh Melina yeah because you have Melania and then you have Melina ah the names um, so Melina is also technically like, you know, spirit doll thing. No, that's the witch. Again, there's so many characters and everything. <laughs> um, but anyways, there's just so much going on. Uh, when I go to stream, the uh, do my, my latest Elden Ring run and jump into all this stuff after, after, uh, it will be in the nearest future. I'm going to be doing a bunch of, you know, lore deep diving with all this stuff to, to figure out like what I think is the actual true full on storyline of what I'm getting. I'm, I don't really want to go off from everyone else's takes on the storyline. I want to try and make up my own view view and like actually figure out my own version of the story that I'm taking away from all this stuff. It is mostly the same, but there is some major plot points. I, I'm like, eh, I don't know if that's exactly what they're saying there. Cause again, it's all up to interpretation on what they're there. Again, this is another great thing that Miyazaki and, um, and George R. R. Martin has done with this. They leave everything so broad that you, it's like, you can only put your own take on this. And then you, you know, you make up kind of your own story of what they're putting there of the pieces and the puzzles together, uh, until you run through and actually do like a boss fight where you are like, okay, that is it. Um, it's amazing storytelling. This is that this is some of the best storytelling when you actually deep dive into it. It doesn't give it to you. It doesn't serve it up on a silver platter. Just it just sprinkles it in front of you. It'd be like, okay, check it out. So, anyways, yeah, go pre-order. Go check out Shall the Earth Tree. Uh, there's a collector's edition, hardcover art books. There's statues, everything else. Uh, June twenty first of this year. We are just pretty much a month out from it. And, uh, yeah, we are actually one month away from it as of today. And, um, okay. Mesmer, the impaler. Okay. So this is absolutely Mesmer in the trailer. So that guy is, it looks like he was maybe a general. Um, and I guess Mikola was, well, Mesmer was on the front line. So he is probably, yeah, he could be a general. And then, and then Mikola was a, again, I will deep dive this stuff when I stream it. And when I start going through it again, now that I, Elden Ring, you need a second playthrough because as soon as you start doing a second playthrough, it's like, oh, plot stuff. You know, it just starts unraveling front because now you know who everyone is and you know what the events were and everything. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, good stuff from software. You got you got me super hyped for this once again. Can't wait to check it out. So, yeah, again, June 21st, I'll, I'm going to try my hardest to do a launch night stream of it. Go for about four hours checking it out. Who knows how long you can end up getting through four hours in Elden Ring. It takes you hours and hours and hours. Um, we'll see what builds I do and all that stuff when I do stream it. So anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, hit the, the subscribe button, the bells, all that good stuff. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. 
and I will see you next year, next year, next time. <laughs>